Wager Talk's hottest show, 14 and 3, 82% run here, guys. A double digit unit profit since last Friday. It's been a heck of a run off yesterday's two and one plus 0.95 units. Welcome in to Drew's Daily Diamonds for Thursday, October 10th, 2024. We got MLB playoffs, college football, and Thursday night NFL football coming your way. Let me know in the comments below where you agree, where you disagree, your sports picks for tonight, for this upcoming weekend. All is welcome. Any questions, fire away as well as we got 608 p.m. Eastern time. First game up top of the card here on TNT MLB playoffs, Cleveland and Detroit. We're seeing the Guardians go off as minus 117 favorites behind Tanner Bybee as the starter. Six and a half being the total. Didn't name a starter for Detroit. Not sure if we need to. It says undecided right now. I'm doing this in the overnight market and it's hats off. To manager hate AJ Hinch putting on a clinic in terms of which bullpen arms to throw. We just saw it in yesterday's game. The Tigers up two to one in the series, looking to punch their ticket into the American League Championship Series. Talking about Bybee here, the Cleveland starter in the postseason so far, four and a third innings, giving up four hits, six strikeouts. The 25 year old out of Cal State Fullerton, he's faced this Detroit lineup. Four times already this season. You know, keep in mind, they're both in the AL Central here and really just mediocre numbers overall. And we start looking at the Detroit pitching side of things. Man, there is no better bullpen in baseball. Right now, you go over the last five weeks, bullpen whip, major metrics. This is the best bullpen right now in MLB. I'm looking to be betting on them. Guys, got a trend for you pointing towards the Tigers. Under the current format here, of the uh, MLB playoffs, you know, they changed it a few years ago. The current format, 2-2-1, two, two, meaning two home games, then two home games, then back to uh, the, the, the the one home game at the uh, at the higher rated team's home, home field. So under the current 2-2-1 two, two, format, excuse me, teams leading 2-1 to one, playing game four at home have won the series 25 out of 31 times. That's 81%, 18 of those wins coming in game four at home. That is the Detroit Tigers at home in Comerica. They're riding this, guys. Plus 108, the home dog is barking. We are on the Detroit Tigers, plus 108 to lead us off. We got the nightcap in MLB in the playoffs here. We're heading to the K in Kansas City. It's the New York Yankees and the Kansas City Royals. 8.08 p.m. Eastern time on TBS. The Yankees up 2-1 to one in the series, going with Garrett Cole on the hill. He's up against Michael Waka. The Yankees minus 145 road favorites, seven in the hook being the total. Cole went five innings, three earned in game one. Waka went four innings in game one, three earned, only three strikeouts. Garrett Cole was a little hotter going at the end of the regular season, his last two regular season starts. He only gave up one earned run over 17 innings. I th actually think the Yankees got the better pitcher overall, the, the better lineup overall. Now, this series has seen some tight games. The Yankees winning game one, six to five. The Royals coming back in game two, winning it four to two. And just yesterday, the Yankees winning, what, three to two. So I don't love the 45 cents on the Yankees, meaning it, it, I, I think it's kind of worked into the line. But again, guys, better starting pitching, better lineup. I'd go with Garrett Cole here in the Yankees. Not a best bet by any means, but minus 145. We are on the Yankees over the Royals. Flipping the script here to the NFL Amazon Prime game. 8.15 Eastern time, Lumen Field, Seattle, Washington. It is the San Francisco 49ers and the Seattle Seahawks. 49 in the hook being the total. Minus three in the hook. That's the Niners as the road favorite. San Francisco's won each of the last five meetings between these two. Four and one against the spread, by the way. They've won them by an average of 15 points a game, outgaining the Seahawks by an average of 150 yards per game. Absolute domination by NFL standards. Also a stat here I got from the gold sheet. Home teams Thursday night since 2019, just 40 and 52 against the spread. Kind of speaks to, if you remember, you know, years ago, the short rest, the team traveling was a terrible bet. Well, odds makers have kind of like overdone it on that trend. And sure enough, we have seen the home teams not be a good bet on Thursday night of recent. Plus the fact the Seahawks, they just let up 420 yards last week to the Giants and their quarterback, Geno Smith, is 0-6 on Thursday night games here. Hey, all of that pointing towards the 49ers, minus three in the hook as the road favorite. 
It's the Niners over the Seahawks for the show. We got two college football games up next. There's three on the slate here, guys. Uh, we got Coastal Carolina and JMU. The Shunt declares up against James Madison. This is 7:30 on ESPN2. 60 in the hook being the total. Nine in a hook. That's JMU as the home favorite. Bridge Force Stadium, Harrisonburg, Virginia. The last two years, JMU has won this series 47 to 7 and 56 to 14. So they've uh, absolutely pushed around Coastal Carolina. I, however, think this year is going to be a lot different. Coastal Carolina, they've been great as a dog, 12 and 5 the last 17 times. Third quarterback, uh, Vasco, 367 yards, three touchdowns last week in the win over Old Dominion. And JMU just lost to Louisiana Monroe as double-digit favorites. Now, the Warhawks have been covering numbers, but still, I think that that's a little bit head-scratching here. So short rest, having to win by double digits, that's JMU if you're wanting to cover this number. I don't think they get it, guys. Coastal Carolina is playing some good football here. What, four wins on the season? Let's go on the shunt the Claire's plus nine and a hook as the underdog. One game left. Check out the 5% max limit bet up for Thursday night. We nailed our last 5% and uh, we got it going tonight. It's the top rated play Thursday night football and the one college football game we are not talking. Also got Friday, Saturday, Sunday cards. So check out the extended packages, guys. A lot of good deals up, including, including the all-inclusive rest of the season. Uh, over $500 off today. So, uh, hey, if you're interested in college basketball, college football, the NFL, Major League Baseball playoffs, you can get all the plays uh, for a huge discount today all the way through December 31st. And again, guys, that 5% max limit up and available. Let me know in the comments below, uh, again, what your picks are. Just a reminder there, it does help out the algorithm and smash that like button if you're liking the content. The show on the 14 and 3, 82% run. Looking to have another profitable day here, guys, and we'll look to end it with Western Kentucky and UTEP. It is, uh, what, the Conference USA game on ESPNU, 8 p.m. Eastern, 5 p.m. Pacific, 57 being the total with the Hilltoppers. Western Kentucky, minus 19 and a half point home favorites. LT Smith Stadium, Bowling Green, Kentucky. UTEP, actually, it, I, I think right before the run on the show happened, we we actually lost betting UTEP. But I'll tell you, watching that game, it was very frustrating. In last week's game, they were coming off of a bye, first-year head coach, making the quarterback change. I thought it was a good time to bet on them. I do like when that situation happens in college football. Unfortunately, this UTEP team just is not very good, guys. Um, last year's starter, Velt Camp, he's now you know taking the snaps for uh, for the Miners. 880 yards, eight touchdowns. So offensively, they did get a little bit of a spark. They have looked better of late. And they're up against the Western Kentucky defense that just can't stop anybody. And they can score. I mean, you can see it in the line, you know, laying what near three touchdowns. They're off of a bye week as well. And two weeks ago in their last game, they almost beat Boston College. So they're able to put up some points here. We get a total under 60. It's at 57. Granted, it's not a low total by any means. But I do think both offenses going to be going up and down the field here. At least Western Kentucky's will. And I think UTEP's going to be able to, you know, talking about the quarterback switch, they do have some wide receivers on the outside that uh, that look pretty promising here. So I like it up and over, guys. 57, last game on the card. UTEP in Western Kentucky. We're going up and over 57. In recap, we're on the shunt declares, plus nine in the hook. 49ers, minus three in the hook. We're on the Yankees minus 145, and we're on the home dog, Detroit Tigers, to punch their ticket into the ALCS plus 108 on the Tigers. I'm Drew Martin. Check it out for Thursday, guys. We'll be back on Friday. Also, keep in mind, we got the Saturday college football show rolling, rolling Sunday NFL as well. So stay tuned for that. Thanks for tuning in. Cash those tickets.